The language index on the Virtual Linguistics Campus is one of the most powerful applications around. It contains data, that is written data, audio data, photos and links to videos about speakers of several hundreds of the languages of the world. The data for each speaker is represented as follows. The home of the speaker is represented by a pin on the map. Then each speaker is associated with the typological data that is known about his language or variety. The most powerful option is the audio data, which not only contains the written information about what someone says, but about the but also contains the phonological transcription and a precise transliteration. Here is an example of a speaker who speaks English and comes from Kingston in Jamaica. I welcome all users to this website on linguistics. My name is Dustin Gooden and I speak Jamaican English. Now, the interesting thing is that for all the speakers on the entire VLC, we recorded the same set of data. For example, each speaker has to say the books, the books, or the man sees the woman, the man sees the woman. This guarantees that speakers of the same language can be examined concerning, concerning their precise variation um, and dialectal differences. Or well, here is the story, the North Wind and the Sun, represented in the speaker's orthography and in phonetic transcription too. The next structured set of audio data concerns the numbers from 1 to 10. 1, 10. And then perhaps most interestingly, the vowels and consonants on the basis of keywords that have been developed beforehand. C, zoo. Here we have the diphthongs. By. And finally, here we have the consonants. June. Cat. Further data includes the writing system. And optionally, here you see a list, copyright information, of course, and optionally photos and links into uh, systems such as YouTube to represent video material. The language index can be used in several ways. The only prerequisite is to have a VLC account. We need to register our users because we want to make sure that our speakers are protected as much as possible. After all, they are contained with their personal data, photos, etc. in the language index and we have secured them that their data won't be accessible from the outside. This is why you need a password and an account in order to access the language index. Once you have logged in, you can load it via the main menu as I've done right now. The overview page tells you, informs you about the options available in the language index. For example, the loading of a language via a list. This list option is the preferable option if you know the precise name of the language you want to access. So let's say I want to access Turkish um, as spoken in Zonguldak, then here is the option and here is my speaker. Gerçek bir dil bilim kampüsüne hoş geldiniz. Benim adım İsmail ve ben Türkçe konuşuyorum. The alternative option which is a little bit slow because the map has to be loaded is the accessing of the languages via a map. Now this enables you to select a language on the basis of its pin on the map. So here for example English in North America as spoken by Aaron S. from Denver, Colorado. I welcome all users to this website on linguistics. My name is Aaron and I speak American English. The option typological parameter allows us to select 
for example, languages with specific linguistic attributes, for example, all tonal languages, all tonal languages with rounded front vowels, and you see the set of languages that remain here are our Chinese speakers. Cognate comparison is an option which is probably one of the most powerful at all, because here you can now compare the data that we recorded across speakers. For example, if I want to find out what people say uh, or how people pronounce the phrase uh, the very big book, here we are. The very big book. The very big book. And so on. Another option concerns the construction of acoustic vowel charts. For example, now having so many speakers, we can construct so-called vowel clouds by uh, measuring the form and frequencies uh, F1 and F2 of a particular vowel and then locate the vowel on a chart. And here you see then acoustic variation across some of the speakers that speak Spanish and have been listed on the VLC. Paso. Well, please test all these options. Now, if you want to use our data, let's say in publications or in your research, then you can do so. All you have to do is you have to look at some guidelines first. Now, these guidelines concern a referencing system which we have been using on the Virtual Linguistics Campus for two years now. Whenever you want a certain set of audio data, you can download that and you will be given an ID, an identification number and the exact name of the speaker and his or her location. If you want to download then, start the download, you can select your language according to the principles that you know and here you are. You can now copy, first of all, copy the URL for your publication, there you are. That has been now copied to the clipboard and then you can start the downloading process in which case, for example, an audio editor might open that downloads your data uh, as you can see here. Now the structured set of audio data we recorded for each speaker has been based on a number of data sheets, currently 118 data sheets, one for each language. Now these data sheets have been developed in conjunction with the native speakers we recorded and the interesting thing, they contain the orthography of the language in focus. If the language in focus has no writing system, then we present the data in phonetic transcription and data elicitation is then simply carried out by means of reading out phonetic transcription and asking the native speaker to repeat. If a language is new in the language index and has no writing system, then we first of all create the phonetic data on the basis of linguistic fieldwork strategies such as pointing, showing pictures, etc. You're invited to help us. You're invited to help us by First of all, looking at our data, telling us where things have to be improved, but you can also upload languages, well, not quite at the moment, but we're working on the language editor, which you can see here. And this language editor will, within the near future, allow you to upload your own data, to prepare your own data, and this data will then become an integral part of the VLC language index, will be your personal contribution.